First of all, let's kick it up with Lizzo's butt, Travis. Oh, oh my God. Let's, let's wrote, start with Lizzo's butt. When, when I was blacked Feeling out, why did I write down hair. Lizzo's butt? No, 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 no. Let her sing. It's just her first album. Let her keep hair singing. Hair no, uh, Okay, you can Flip do it. Flip my hair. Okay. 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 Come on, we all know how it Baby, goes. Baby, how you Good Why are we talking hair. about her butt? Okay, Lizzo's butt was in rare form on yes. Sunday Night Brody. So she was wearing a really, I didn't love the dress. Mm-hmm. It was like a black t-shirt. And then it was had a just huge circle cut out the basket, like the back of it. It with fishnets and a thong. Mm. So she was at the Minnesota whatever's versus Minnesota the, Vikings. N- 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 what? She the Minnesota whatever's versus the LA whatever's. Yeah. And she they <laughs> played the song that we don't need to sing again. <laughs> and she stood up and then when she turned around, it just looked like a black t-shirt dress and then she was like twerking in her thong. Oh. It was just one bare ass. No. I love it with so tiny much. I didn't see it. I love it oh my so God. Much. I didn't insane. see it, but I'm all for that. Me too. Mm-hmm. It's great. And she got a lot of heat for it probably because the dress is so like ugly because it's just a black t-shirt with Whoa. a hole cut out the back. And probably because people are haters and disgusting. It was definitely because people were haters. So she went on Instagram live. She had like a big sort of talking about it. She's like, this is who I am. It's the S essence of me and the things that I choose to do as a grown-ass woman and conspire to do the same. She stops, you know, stop shaming me. I don't need your negative criticism, blah, blah, blah. And then she posted a video of Rihanna from her Swarovski Crystal nude mesh dress from the CFDA Awards when she was twerking after. She's like, this is my inspiration for the yeah. moment. And she was saying that people sort of like it when like a smaller woman twerks their bare ass, but when yeah. a bigger woman, they're like, this is offensive. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's a double standard ridiculous. for sure. And that's, that's what Lizzo's butt did on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> She's an icon. <laughs> She's an icon. It was so great and her butt looked great. And I now mean, her butt is an icon of its own. Yeah. It's sort of like almost bare cheeks on the seats I don't know about. <laughs> that, I, I don't love the feeling Wait, of was that. it a basketball yeah. game or a football game? It was basketball. Okay. I also don't basketball. love... Oh, those Timberwolves. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the no. Timberwolves. Timberwolves. And the butt through the fishnets and the way that feels. I don't really love that too. Yeah. But, I think that was sort of the only issue about it. But it was like really fun. Yeah. Sure, why not? Sporty Spice. Yeah. Sarah, what is going on with J.P. Rosenbaum? Oh my God, it's really sad. Tell us about it. So JP, who won season seven of The Bachelorette, he's married to Ashley. They have two really cute kids. He was in the hospital this weekend, and he revealed that he has been diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome. You almost did it. Sarah, you sound like a medical. Guillain-Barre. I think you. A medical professional. Next time, do it without less questioning in your voice. I'm trying. Guillain-Barre syndrome. I'm no doctor. Um, But this is like a really rare condition in which the body's immune system attacks the nerves. Mm -hmm. And he was in the hospital on Sunday and he said, things you do every day, like picking up this phone, Buttoning on but buttoning buttons, trying tying sho- shoelaces. Wow, I'm am I sick? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> putting on deodorant, just can't do it. Picking up my kids, can't do it. Wiping your own ass, maybe TMI might have Ashley assist on the next one. I really can't believe oh. it. Um, um, this it's there's no cure, but you do physical therapy and you like learn how to do all these things again, and then you just hope for no like future flare ups. From what yeah. I understand, um, he was discharged from the hospital on Monday night, so that's good. Um, but we're all just praying for JP and Ashley. Mm. Or rooting for him, Sarah. Don't put your prayers in my hands. No, sure. I mean, rooting, praying, whatever. Feel better, JP. Guys, we have to touch on an Us exclusive story. This makes me a little concerned. Lady Gaga is oh, talking God. to Christian Carino again. Girl, why? Yeah. You don't need him? No. You know, weird. Uh. Right. Well, our source said they're just friends. Sorry, one word, guys. Yeah, I agree. Weird. No, and that's a very astute assessment. Our source said they're just friends. There's nothing going on there, and she's not seriously dating anyone right now. But he's a tough one, though, because he's like one of those emotional manipulators, mm-hmm. and he's gonna like draw her back mm-hmm. in and mm-hmm. control her, I and it's gonna you. end the same way that it did before. And he was the manager, right? So he's got like yeah, the yeah, manager, agent, 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 agent. Sorry, yeah, yeah. he was her manager. Mm-hmm. Oh. And now we heard that, you know, there were some jealousy issues and her friends didn't really like him at the end. I just, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all for amiable exes. Yes. But this is The little dangerous. monsters hate him too. Like the yeah, fan base do. hates him. Yeah, because she was not her best self when she was with him. I would like to see her get married though, just because I would like to see a Lady Gaga wedding dress. Definitely. Mm. I, I mean, that would be too. interesting. I feel like she'd go very classic though and I'd be disappointed. Mm-hmm. People would be so disappointed. Like, where's the meat dress? Like they won't let go of that. Right. She'd be in something like yeah, she Versace pretty. and... She looked so beautiful during this past award season. Oh, I mean, God. you know, I, I'm not, I'm here for it. Mm. I'm here for it too. Live your life, Gaga. But do not get back to but Christian not Kareem, Christian. No, please. No, he's not the one. Y'all be up some baby news. Cassie, the me and you Aww. singer, had a baby. Not with cute. Diddy, but cute, with her cute. husband, yeah, Alex you. Fine. Who she, like, fast-tracked. Yeah. Shh. She, she knew what she wanted. Tale is old as time. Dump the long-term boyfriend. Get pregnant boom, real boom, quick boom. with the next one. Yeah, name your daughter Frankie Fine, which is Love really it. Cute. Superhero name. Super cute. cute. For a girl, too, Frankie Fine. Isn't yeah. that the name That's of the right. nanny? 
The nanny. Fran Fine. Fran Fine. Yeah. The nanny. Uh, and Cardi uh, B is on the cover of Vogue with her baby. She looks sure so is. good. She really does. I love culture so much. Did you much. see her show up to court today? No. She showed up to the Queen's Cardi court Cardi B or today. culture? <laughs> Who do you think? Sorry. Culture went to court. It was culture, clearly. Culture. She drove herself. <laughs> Order in culture's court. No, she had black. She had a black feather hood that was gigantic and black feathers that was like maybe like a seven foot train mm. in the back with like 20 person entourage. Janelle Evans court. could never. Could never. <laughs> never. She wouldn't even think I of it. I associate her the most with court. Me too. And guys, it appears Anne Hathaway has given birth to her. It does appear child. that it does way. Appear Unclear. With, why would one be without the baby bump they carried for the last nine months and carrying a small baby carrier? We can surmise possibly <laughs> yes. that she had the baby. The queen of Genovia herself. Travis, yes. would you be so kind as to help us revisit this day in pop culture you know, history? I have some lovely happy news for all of you. Oh, oh thank God. Finally. In, in 1965, a Charlie Brown <laughs> Christmas premiered today oh. on CBS. Oh. Da 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 yes. da 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 It's the wow, cutest ever. Good. 1965. <laughs> I thought it was so much newer. And then some tragic news. <laughs> oh. That in 1992, that's when Prince Charles and Princess Diana announced their separation. Wow. Which was really? so sad. And then yeah. today in 2009, Courtney announced she was pregnant with her second child. Hmm. Oh, oh Penelope. Us Weekly. Courtney, her first child. Her second child. No. Penelope was born in 2012. 2012. So this is Mason. Oh, 2009. Yeah. Yeah, 2009. <laughs> okay, Mason. roughly in this roughly state. Roughly. I, I, I only know it was because. Just this weekend. I don't know it was how an, Sarah keeps all of her reality facts in her head. She was a stalker fan. No, you're right. It's, it's 2009. Cat. She's it was young. Else. She's young. I did just um, gather some intel for our greatest Kardashian moments in the last decade. And uh -huh. I, Mason is the only child that was not born in this decade. That's how I know. Oh, uh, yeah. She was 2009. It was an Us Weekly exclusive cover. Wow. That's Beautiful. exciting. Beautiful. She had to give us those. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Moving she kept on. it a secret for a long time because she was born in... No, oh, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. In the new issue out today, you can read a very hearty Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner update. Um, we've got a lot from our sources about what's going on with them. We saw some pictures of them. It seemed to be out arguing around Thanksgiving weekend. Right. We hadn't seen him for a while. The source told us that he had been filming in New Orleans, hadn't seen the kids in a few weeks. They had a big week with Thanksgiving, Violet's birthday. There was a lot of family time. Ben wasn't able to stay for all of Violet's birthday celebration. He had to get back to New Orleans for work. What's he filming? Do we know? And some, he's filming some another action movie I'm not going to see. Uh, okay. And, um, <laughs> and, and um, our source said that Jen has very high standards expectations. There can be frustration when Ben doesn't meet those high standards and expectations. It can be challenging to always be on the same page when you're dealing with kids' personalities, priorities, and decision-making. But they're all, both present with their kids whenever they can be and whenever Ben has a break from the movie. Mm -hmm. 